We gotta start going the fucking extra mile, fellas. We gotta stop being bitches. Start going the extra fucking mile. That is what the fuck separates the men from the boys. That is what separates the successful people. Guys, we try and make this little shit. We try and make these little wins seem like nothing. That's what the fuck society does today. We make the wins on the inches, the little wins, the little habits that actually lead to success. We make those little wins seem like nothing. And we want to downplay people's success. We want to downplay people's wins. You heard how fucking ecstatic I was when I came on here and I hit a thousand subscribers. That's fucking nothing. But guess what? That's a big fucking win for me. Because a year ago, I didn't ever see that point happening. I didn't know how the fuck I was going to get there. And that is what society is going to try and do to you today, especially as a man. People want to downplay your success. People want to downplay those small wins. People want to downplay those small habits. And that'll get in your head and make those things seem like insignificant habits or insignificant wins. And to give you in a little a little example, and this is going to sound so silly, but today I was at the gym. Guys, you know I'm in a deficit. It's starting to get to me. I'm cutting the calories down. I'm, I started off at 27. Now I'm all the way down at 23. It's starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. I'm a big dude. So having the calories that low makes me tired, guys. I haven't been sleeping right. I had some shit on my mind that was pissing me the fuck off. And I didn't want to finish that workout, guys. I could have easily just got out there after I did the compound movements and said, fuck my arms, fuck, uh, you know, my abs. I could have easily fucking done that. And that's what the fuck I used to do. That's what the fuck I used to do. But today I said, no, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not fucking doing that because that is the difference between me and the next guy. That's what the fuck got me here in the first place. That's what blew me past everybody who started lifting weights at the same time I did. It wasn't my genetics. It wasn't fucking performance enhancing drugs. It was my fucking discipline, work ethic, ability to go the extra mile. That is what the fuck separates the winners. That's what the fuck separates them, guys. We want these extraordinary goals but we wanna put in ordinary efforts and people will make it seem like those small habits. Like, oh man, I could just skip my arms. What does it matter if I skip my arms at the end of their workout? I'll tell you what the fuck it means. You're gonna do that every time. And that is a manifestation of your mindset. Bear with me guys, cause you probably think this sounds so fucking dumb right now. But that extra mile is what the fuck matters the most. Because it's not even just for your physical body. It's not just about the, the fact of doing arms. It's your fucking mindset. It's what the fuck it shows is within you. And a lot of you guys don't want it that bad. Because you haven't felt the pain. You haven't felt the pain of being skinny. You haven't felt the pain of what comes with that. You haven't felt the pain of fucking being out of shape or you just don't listen to it. You don't listen to your inner thoughts. A lot of us got these issues and we just play them off like it's nothing. Start listening to it. Where the fuck are you now? And where the fuck do you wanna be five years from now, 10 years from now? It's not going to happen overnight. What is going to be the thing that separates you from the person who stays the same or for the person who just does mediocre? It's the little fucking wins. It's tracking your calories every single day, not missing on the weekends, finding a way to get healthy food in on the weekend. It's doing the fucking cardio. Guys, I, I gotta be honest with you. I haven't been doing cardio up until this point in the cut. I'm going back tonight to the gym to do my fucking cardio. I'm going back because I want it. I did my fucking arms today. 
I did my core. I could have walked out, skipped the three or four exercises at the end of the workout because I was bummed out and because I was pissed off and my mental state wasn't right and I was anxious. But I said, fuck that. I'm pushing through it. And it wasn't even just for the physical results. It was for what it does to your mental. Because if you skip once, it becomes that much easier to skip again. It becomes that much easier to say, hey, today's Saturday. I had a lot of stuff to do today. I had client check-ins. You know what? I'm gonna slack off on the videos today. I'm not gonna put a video up. I'm only gonna put one video up instead of two or three. I'm not gonna put that Instagram post up. I'm not gonna send out those extra DMs. And it just becomes easier and easier for every little fucking habit. Those little habits are what's gonna build up. It's not some major thing, guys. It's not some major fucking science. And people like to shit on motivational people like myself and say, oh man, he's just giving out this bullshit, selling a dream. You know, how, how, how uh, disingenuine because I'm trying to make the little habits seem like big deals. That's what the fuck it is. It is a big deal. It is a big fucking deal. It is a fucking big deal that I don't drink, that I don't smoke, that I don't fucking go out, that I get eight hours of sleep every night, that I get a gallon of water every fucking day, that I track my calories every day and don't miss, that I do the whole fucking workout and that I do it with intensity. I don't miss a set. I don't miss a rep PR, a scheduled rep PR. I don't miss. That's why the fuck I am today, where I am today with my physique. That's why I made so much progress in the last year. Because a year ago, I would have said, I'm tired. I'm going to skip out in the arms because what difference is it going to really make, right? Wrong. That makes a world of difference. And guess what? Having this mindset has translated over to my business. It's translated over to my YouTube. Once I started putting out two, three videos a day, regardless of the fucking results, regardless of the fucking engagement, it's when my channel started to fucking take off. When I started actually putting the emotion into these videos, it's when my channel started to take off. Because I can't just go in here half ass. I gotta put my fucking emotion into it. I gotta get vulnerable. I gotta tell my story and give my take on things and be passionate about it. I can't protect myself by just giving a half-ass explanation. No, I gotta go in depth. I gotta be passionate about it. It's those little fucking things that separate you. It's doing the extra cardio. It's going the extra mile. It's putting up the extra YouTube video, doing that overtime, taking that overtime, sacrificing your weekends, tracking your fucking diet. A lot of you guys are too pussy to fucking track your diet. You're too pussy to track your diet. Oh man, I'm not doing all that bullshit. I need a balance with my life. I'm not doing all that calculating calories bullshit. You know, fuck that. That's, you know, that's, that's leave that. I don't need that shit. That shit's not going to make that big of a difference. Yes, the fuck it is. Man, I could drink on the weekends. What difference is that going to make? Man, I could smoke. You know what? I smoke and I'm, I'm still in my right mind. No, the fuck you're not. Ain't nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with smoking weed. I don't got a problem with it, but just recognize you are not going to be at your fullest mental capacity while you are doing that. It's gonna slow you down. And if we are going full force ahead, we really want this shit. We can't be doing that. You can't be drinking. You can't be slightly hung over the next day. I don't give a fuck if it's even slightly. You want it bad? Or do you just kinda want it? Do you really want to grow your YouTube? How the fuck do you think you grow your YouTube? You don't do it by posting three times a week. You post it every fucking day without failure. I don't give a fuck how sick you are. I don't give a fuck 
how depressed you are. Push through it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck your mental health. Fuck your anxiety. Get to the fucking gym. Eat your fucking food. Push the fuck through it. What the fuck do you think is going to make you feel better anyways? You think sulking on it and, and, and meditating on it? No, you got to push through it and then you meditate later. A lot of you guys don't, you, you get depressed, you get anxious and you just give up. That's when the fuck you're supposed to push harder. That's literally your body's response to you. Your body is telling you push harder. When you're depressed, that's because you're in a shitty situation. What does that mean? You need to push the fuck through it. When you're anxious, what does that mean? Extra fucking energy. That means you got shit going on around you that you need to have extra energy to tackle. Not to fucking sit on your ass and give up on everything. Man. And people try and make these little fucking things. Doing the extra cardio. Doing the extra YouTube video. Hey, bro, it, it come out with us. It's not going to make that much of a difference if you don't put up that extra video. Yes, the fuck it is. Because if I don't do it today, I'm not going to do it tomorrow. I'm not going to do it the next day. And it's just going to get easier and easier. And that's how the fuck you become complacent. That's how the fuck you become depressed and anxious. That's how the fuck your life goes to shit. Well, how does one thing? It fucking matters, guys. It piles up over time. Which way do you want your life to go? You got to start putting in the extra mile. You got to start doing the cardio. You got to start following a workout program. Stop just going to the gym. Follow a fucking program that's going to be intelligently laid out to where you know exactly what numbers you need to be hitting next week. It holds you fucking accountable. None of this bullshit. Oh, I know what weight I'm using. I'll just go in and do some random. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Oh, I'm not going to calculate my macros, bro. Fuck that shit. Get on top of this shit, guys. Now. Yeah, it's not going to make a big difference today. It's not going to make a big difference tomorrow. But guess what it is? After five fucking years, you are going to be miles ahead of the competition. You are going to be miles ahead. Why does this matter? Well, guys, we set goals on this channel. If you don't have these type of goals, you don't have lofty goals, then get the fuck off my channel. I'm here with the winners, baby. I'm not here for the fucking pussies. I'm not here for the people that want to be complacent. I got fucking veins coming out my neck. That's how fucking passionate I am. I'm here for the fucking winners. So if you want to be a winner, you got to stack those small wins, those small fucking habits that everybody else says doesn't matter. That's what the fuck it is, guys. People are going to try and make you feel like those small habits that you know are a big deal. People are going to try and make you seem like it's not a big deal and try and bring you down. When I was working the 60 hour weeks, when I was working the 80 hour weeks as a personal trainer, guess what people were telling me? Does it really matter? Can you just cancel on that person tomorrow? It's Sunday. No, the fuck I can't. Cause if I cancel today, guess what I'm gonna do next week on Sunday? It's, it's gonna be that much easier to cancel again. And guess what? Now they're not my client anymore. Now I lost a client. Now I lost $40 a week. That adds up. That's how the fuck I ended up broke. Not stacking the small wins. Not going the extra fucking mile. You guys don't know what the fuck it is until you experience that pain when you do years of being complacent, when you have years of not going the extra mile because it doesn't make that big of a difference. It doesn't make that big of a difference if I smoke on the weekend, if I drink on the weekends, it doesn't make that much of a difference if I smoke a blunt every night. That's what it is, guys.
It's the extra fucking mile. And if you want to take your fitness to the extra fucking mile, you will apply for my online fucking coaching. Go apply for my shit, guys. We'll set you up. Online workout program, personalized workout program, personalized nutrition plan. We are going to get you ripped the fuck up, and I'm going to be holding you accountable to it. I'm not going to let you go in on that half-assed foo-foo bullshit. I'm holding you accountable to it. We're doing weekly check-ins. We're doing group calls. All your questions are getting answered. So if you want to be a part of something special, go hit that link in the description. Apply for my coaching. That's it, guys. <laughs>